Hey, Blades. Hope you're having a great day. So I noticed something on the Google Play Store. So I play on Android, and, you know, I often peruse around what new games come out. And I saw that Elder Scrolls Blades right now is sitting at a 3.9 Google Play Score. That is pretty bad. I mean, even awful games who do false advertising and those MMO RTSs that are extremely pay to win sit in the fours, the low fours, sometimes even the mid fours. So the fact that Elder Scrolls Blades has a 3.9 is amazing to me. This game is. Uh, much better than a 3.9. Now, I'm not saying it's high fours or anything like that, but for an early access game, you know, this, this score is way too low. Uh, let's start with some of the cons that we see. Uh, one of the most popular cons is is this one right here. It's terrible, the controls are wonky, the graphics are subpar, the gameplay jumps around. The concept is good. But the gameplay, it's all pay it's pay to win, y'all. And it's not much fun. I mean Is it pay to win right now? I mean, what are you winning? If you pay to complete all the content, it's uh you're you're just you're not winning anything. You're beating yourself. Now depending on how they implement PvP, then it's pay to win. Otherwise, there's no leaderboards. Uh, there's uh, no... Inter I mean, that's this is also a downside. There's no leaderboards. There's no interaction with other people for you to win against. So I, I don't buy that it's pay to win. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't microtransaction issues with the game. There certainly are. That... It, that is a valid criticism, but I don't think it's pay to win. Fighting is literally press a but press and hold, then repeat. You know, it can be. Like when I'm I'm over leveled content, that's all I have to do. I can just use my two hander and just rip through content. Now, when I go into the abyss and I'm a couple levels above me. It's not so easy. I can't just hold the button and repeat without using uh, health regen spells and things like that. So while it may seem like you can just hold a button, and there are so many cases you can, I'm not, I'm not saying there aren't, it's not as simple as that makes it sound. I could, I could have made this game with no experience. I'm sure you could have... Stick to PC. This game is a money grab, nothing more. I mean, I could see why you would think it's a money grab. The microtransactions were extremely aggressive. They're starting to roll back on them a little bit, but they have a long way to go. Another one. I'm starting with the bad. A couple of the bad ones first. Uh, wow, opportunity miss. Could have been the game help change the design of mobile games. I agree with that. I mean, it's not missed by any means. The game is still in early access. We're seeing weekly updates. There are, some, there are several big features that they still need to add, like uh, jewelry, guilds, PvP. Uh, so they haven't missed the opportunity yet. Although one could argue that early access is a full release, which is, I think, valid too. I mean, it's the old beta... beta forever kind of thing but you know technically it's early access so ended up exactly like every other mobile free-to-play title well yes and no they did copy clash royale's model pretty uh pretty much but you know I, I don't think i think this game feels pretty unique i don't know any other games just like this that have this kind of combat uh this kind of design I mean, the town building and the dungeons. And, I mean, if there are other games like this, please leave it in the comments and tell me. I'd love to try them out. Other than that Shadow one that's been mentioned that's like eight years old that I, I do want to try. But I mean recent still living games. 
boring, repetitive, you know, that's a matter of opinion. Repetitive, I could see. Boring, I, I enjoy it. Awful monetization, yeah. Looks pretty. I mean, during that documentary, they talked a lot about the looks of this game and how much time they spent on it. I don't think it looks that great. Maybe it's because I'm just playing on my phone. Maybe I need to bring it out on the tablet and I'll get better graphics. I don't know. Seriously lacking content and soul. You know, that's, that's a the soul part's a pretty good criticism, I must say. Because, you know, there's no lore really in this game. And Bethesda is supposed to be rich in lore. There are little pieces, little pieces here and there, but, you know, it's just, it's lacking. It's hard to say. Soul, I think, is the right word. I think it does lack soul. I, I don't know how they're going to address that coming up, but, you know, I would love to feel more, like, a more, like, a live world, more than just Elder Scrolls textures. For instance, voice acting would be extremely helpful, even if it's just a quote like at the start and not reading the entire text because you know that voice acting can take up a lot of space and is not ex cheap to do correctly and then he goes on to say he's the idiot who gave them a hundred dollars on launch who gives a hundred dollars on launch of an early access game i mean it you complain about the awful monetization and then you give them $100. So you pretty much supported their uh, business model. And yeah, so I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you there. And then he tried to get a refund on that $100. And stay away, the game sucks. So I, I wouldn't, I mean, he has a couple val valid points, but I don't know. That's that's no good. All right, and now to to the most positive review. The game is absolutely stunning and fun to play. No, fun to play. I agree with. Stunning. I still don't see it. Progression has been very fun. I I agree. I like the progression. I like the gear. I like building up my town. I like all that. Challenging yet acceptable pace. Fair enough. I like that various tasks such as quests and the abyss now various tasks i think they can put more work into making them feel more varied right now it's they're they're sure what you collect is varied but no what you experience is not too varied abyss i do like you can travel as far as you're capable of with rewards as you go along i'm a big fan i'd love to see them keep iterating on the abyss Reward chests as you complete tasks. Mm. I would much rather more loot drop in the game, but I understand there might be reasons why they don't do that. The stuff you collect on the map does not seem to scale. <laughs> so I'm getting the same amounts as I'm getting like one lumber at level 25, just like I was at level one. So, and everything keeps increasing in price. So it doesn't scale well. And that leads into monetization issues. I like the fact that they included gems as a reward throughout the game. That's good. I mean, I haven't bought gems since I needed to respec. And they still haven't fixed respec costs, so they need to do that. I definitely recommend this game to any mid evil era you know could have googled how to spell medieval but okay this isn't really a medieval era i i get what he's saying but it's supposed to be elder scrolls game so i'm not sure this user actually is familiar with elder scrolls but you know so i i don't think 3.9 is a fair score i think a lot of it comes from expectations of a bethesda game and being let down and, you know, I can see that. But on its own merits, compared to what other games are in the threes, this is a much better game than a 3.9. I would give it personally a 4.4 right now. 
And to compare that, you know, Google scores are weird. Like Supercell, who's like the pinnacle of, of games with Clash of Clans, Boom Beach, Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, they're like around the 4.6. So 4.6 is a really good mobile game on Google Play. So 4.5 and 4.4 4 are also pretty common scores and 4.3. So I think it would fall around the 4.4 and maybe if I could lower it to 4.3, but it, it is early access. I think if they make, if they add what they say they're going to do and do PVP right, this could easily get to a 4.5 game. They have to fix monetization though, but you know, it's, it's a, it's it's sad to see a 3.9 score, you know. I, but you know, you can't really blame. I don't blame the reviewers. Uh, it didn't come out with the best showing to start with, and you know, they only get one chance to make a first impression, early access or not. So, we'll see what happens. I mean, what do you think about the score? Is 3.9 what it should be? I don't know what it is on on. Apple, but all right, that's it for this. Please check out the content to the upper left, upper right. Thanks for all your support. Have a great day.